Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, the uh, video question is a little muffled, but it was submitted by YouTube, so it's relatively easy to play back as well as share with anybody and everybody. He currently has no comment on the video, but hopefully you'll be able to decipher exactly what he's asking. It's a common question and frustration. Hi. Hi, Chris. This is a fan of your viewers on YouTube, and also I come by the chat room a few times as KP Zone Zone Wilson. Sorry for asking a question this way, but I tried the iJot thing on your live chat page, but that didn't work, so I have to do it this way. Anyway, the question I wanted to ask was about Microsoft Office 2007. I bought it my two weeks later after I bought my new laptop with this on it. And when I make documents and presentations and stuff on Office 2007, when I try to um, download it onto my college computer, it downloads, but it doesn't open for some reason because they, they say it's not compatible or something. So I, so, it doesn't work, but it works the other way around, though. And it <clears throat> Welcome to the wonderful world of Office, Microsoft Office specifically. Uh, seems that with every revision, they introduce changes to the document structure, or at least the Office document structure, specifically Word documents, uh, so that it's not necessarily backwards compatible with earlier versions of, well in this case, Word, or generally speaking, Office. Uh, there's a couple ways around this. Uh, I'm gonna, first I'm going to give you uh, the way that you might take, and that would be downloading an Office compatibility pack uh, that you should be able to install for your version of Office that will give you uh, backwards compatibility with, or I guess forwards compatibility, with newer document types that were developed after your version of Office was released. Um, my recommendation is that since you have a newer version of Office, well, what you should always do is save out in a document format that is going to offer the most amount of compatibility. And in many cases, that is saving out as rich text format, or RTF. Of course, I thought that was a more ubiquitous format. The other week, I uh, typed up a Word document on my Mac and saved it out as a rich text format, and lo and behold, nobody could read it. So even Microsoft Word on at least the Mac uh, can't even handle RTF uh, very well. Uh, but that is, is going to give you the most amount of compatibility. RTF, rich text format, uh, it will it won't really save a lot of the layout that you may create in a Word document, but it certainly will save uh, features like fonts. Uh, it'll save uh, you know like bold, italics, you know just the basics in in a, in a document. Rich text, making your your emails richer uh, rather than just plain text. Uh, emails, documents, whatever. Uh, the, uh, rich text format is that, the reason why I even bring up emails because a lot of email. Uh, engines have the rich text option uh, that would allow you to do fancy things. Uh, that's been supplanted in recent years with HTML email, uh, of course. I wouldn't recommend saving out your Word documents as HTML, uh, largely because, I, well, I just wouldn't. Um, so you can either save out in an older format, and it's usually in, inside of Microsoft Word, um, usually it's like Word 94 or Word 97 to 2003 compatibility. Uh, it, instead of saving out as DocX, which is what Office, specifically Word 2007, defaults to, uh, just save it out as a, a regular old doc, dot .doc, uh, in, with the, uh, the backwards compatibility, so that older versions of Office are going to be able to read that file. Uh, and uh, again, as I said, I, I, would, I would even go, as, if you don't really use Word for anything more, then is basic text, maybe an underline here and there, a bold word, uh, then I would strongly recommend using RTF. It should be much more ubiquitous. Of course, you may even uh, take it to the next level, and that would be uh, creating your work, whether it's in a spreadsheet 
or in a word processing environment in a, a place like Google Docs. That way you definitely have compatibility. In fact, in Google Docs, you can not only create, but you can export in various formats that can offer a wide range of compatibility, uh, which I was always uh, pretty, pretty impressed with. RTF, Word format, HTML zipped, open office format, PDF text, and that's just through the Google Docs and spreadsheets, and that's a free account. Um, and again, that's that's going to have some basic layout features, nothing terribly advanced uh, that you might find inside of later versions of Word. But I think a lot of those features are, for most people, overkill. Uh, you know, I still, to this day, compose most of my documents, text, in a, a simple plain uh, email window, plain text email uh, window, and then copy from there. So that way I know uh, Outlook, my default client, automatically saves it every three minutes. So I've always got um, you know, a copy ready to go, and then I know it's plain text, so I know it will be compatible. That's one format that is just universal. Well, for the most part, universal. I don't know how you can screw up plain text, but uh, leave it to a company to, to go that route. These Office document formats are uh, becoming a little easier to deal with. Uh, and of course, we're hopefully going to move more towards an open document format uh, sooner or later. Uh, and as long as we have full vendor support across the, the range of people who develop uh, ways to edit text or documents, word processing documents, uh, the, you know, the sooner you won't have to deal with these kinds of issues. So install a compatibility pack, should be free for Microsoft, and then definitely save in a more ubiquitous format, either an older version of Word compatibility from within your version of Microsoft Word 2007 uh, or they, there's compatibilities that go all the way back, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you could save out as rich text format as well. I don't know if anybody else has any other suggestions for Office compatibility and complying with uh, this universal frustration uh, in, in trying to get along with it. I know a lot of people have probably recommended, oh, there we go, I knew it. I knew someone was going to recommend uh, Open Office, of course. Uh, leave it to Snake Eyes for straying off topic. He's got uh, uh, ADD. A lot of people actually in the chat room have ADD. That's why I love them because I have it. T what? Oh, I'm sorry. I saw. I thought it was a flashing light down in the corner of my system tray. Kind of caught my attention there. Oh, oh anyway, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, leave a comment, remark, follow up, whatever, we'll we'll take it all. And then, of course, you're welcome to swing by the chat room too, especially if you have ADD or uh, uh, maybe a. A problem compatible with ADD. You might have to save your ADD as an earlier version. The ADHD format is not fully forwards compatible to ADD, but they do kind of, you know, chat room open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. One URL to know. And remember, that's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.